New tonight, a North Highlands family is speaking out two weeks after a 22 year old woman lost her life in a Christmas morning house fire. The boyfriend of Destiny Abdrazak says that she was the one who saw smoke and alerted the family so that they could escape. But sadly, she didn't make it out tonight. How the survivors of that fire are remembering her and how they're passing on the tragic lessons they've learned about fire safety firsthand. A North Highlands home engulfed in flames early Christmas morning. Only hours earlier, 22 year old Destiny Abdrazak was enjoying Christmas with her boyfriend and his family. We had hot cocoa. We uh, watched um, Elf, Will Farrell. We watched that movie. James Isom says after everyone else had gone to sleep, Destiny was the one who saw the smoke at two in the morning. When I opened my door, the Christmas tree was on fire and the flames were to the ceiling and I panicked. He tried to fight the fire with cups of water and then a hose, but it was spreading too fast. There wasn't that much time to do anything. The fire, we needed firefighters with, with water and gear and helmets and I was in my underwear, you know, it was two in the morning. After the smoke had cleared, investigators said the blaze was accidentally started by an artificial Christmas tree and there were no working smoke detectors inside the house. James and four other members of his family were only able to escape thanks to Destiny's warning. Without her, it would have been five people burnt to death, suffocated and burnt Six. to death on the news. Six. Without her, it was it was insane. We're indebted to her forever. Destiny, we wouldn't be here without you. A family indebted forever to the woman who warned them about the fire, but Destiny didn't make it out herself. Sacramento Metro Fire Department rescued her and took her to the hospital in critical condition, where she later died of her injuries. She was the sweetest girl you could ever meet. She was she was a star. She was so bright and loving and kind. They're remembering this adventurous animal lover and big sister as a hero. Everybody is just trying to be strong and, and, and keep her in our thoughts and prayers every moment because it's not easy. It's not easy. And I, I know it's 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 a long fight, but Destiny, she's my hero. James Isom says that he plans to create a nonprofit called Destiny's House to honor his girlfriend's life and put fire extinguishers and fire detectors in every home.